What's up ladies and gentlemen, once again Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I want to talk about my first MP3 player, my very first unit. It's a Jam Jam MP3, I guess it was called. Uh, if you knew about these things, there was a Jam Cam, which is one of the first cheapest digital cameras that you could get. It wouldn't even have a digitizer on the back. You could just see that through this little screen there was a Jam uh, mouse tablet. And back, back when I was younger, tablet meant you had a flat thing and you had a pen and you could draw and you could put your art up. And then there was the Jam MP3 player. I've had the Jam Cam and the MP3 player. No idea what happened to the MP3 player, but this popped up as I was going through all of my old stuff in my parents' attic. I had to rip it out. And man, this thing really takes me back. I remember I got it for about 60 bucks on eBay. That was about the only place you could find these things for the most part. Very popular on eBay. But I also bought an SD. This is the first system that I ever seen that actually just took a standard SD. I love how big it is. I love how fat the uh, the buttons are. It's so much bigger than all my other MP3 players. There's something I like about that. But again, I am the kind of guy I like to have a nice thick phone case. I like a, a phone like a tank, not exactly like a Corvette. So this is perfect for me. I wish they still made these. When I got this, I got a 64 megabyte card with it. And back in the day, whoa, that blew people away. 64 megabyte, that's just awesome. And I think I paid 20 bucks for it. And I got mad at my girlfriend because it, it broke when she was using it. And later on, I realized, you know, if I paid so little for it, it was probably uh, a dud. It was probably breaking. It was a piece of junk. Yeah, interesting little thing. Let's take a closer look. And all right, so here we have the jam cam right next to a SanDisk MP3 player. You probably get a good idea what the size of that is, just to give you a reference. But yeah, another thing I love about this, I've probably said a million times, is how big the buttons are. And look at that beautiful old school LED display. That's badass. This thing wasn't too bad with batteries. It wasn't too good with them either. I don't have a card in here, but I think it says I have 16 tracks. One of the interesting things about this is you couldn't just plug it in. You could plug it in, of course, but you had to make sure you went to the website, jamonline.com, and got the particular program. Otherwise, you couldn't transfer information over. I almost wonder if there was some spyware on there, so you absolutely had to download their proprietary stuff. I forgot how hard this is to take out. I don't know, maybe I'll share my information with them or something. <laughs> that happens. Anyways, let's take her apart. Maybe I should show you guys all the way around. So yeah, you can get the USB 3.5 headset, the volume, all very physical buttons. I love the physical buttons. Wow, that's a big board. Okay, this is Samsung memory chip there. Bit of gunk from God knows what. Oh, and she pops right out. You see the cables right there at the side, attaching to the volume. Oh man, that's old school. The old school buttons in that. Jeez, that's awesome. I'm glad I never threw this out. <laughs> that is awesome. Old school physical buttons. Well, I'm going to put her back together. You know what? Maybe maybe I'm going to get a, another SD card for this sucker. And make it my MP3 player on the way to work. Oh. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Have a good one, guys.